Hi there, my name is Panteliso Pasakis and I will present to you our paper entitled Open – Code Generation for Embedded Non-Convex Optimization. This is a joint work with Emil Fresk and Panagiotis Patrinos. I will start by introducing the class of non-convex problems we can solve, discuss how this can be done numerically and how we can use Open to generate code for embedded applications. I will then present some simulation results and conclude the talk. Let's start with a problem statement. We want to solve parametric optimization problems of this form. Here f is a smooth, possibly non-convex function, and the constraints can also be non-convex. We require that f be continuously differentiable in the decision variable u with a Lipschitz gradient, for short c11. Projections on u must be easy to compute, f1 must be a c11 mapping, and f2 is such that the squared norm is c11. Lastly, c is a convex set whose distance function is easy to compute. u is a set on which it is easy to project. For example, it can be a rectangle, a ball, a finite set, or even a Cartesian product of such sets. F2 type constraints can accommodate multiple vertical complementarity constraints, that is, constraints of this form, and these can be used to model obstacle avoidance constraints in optimal control problems. The key difference between F1 and F2 constraints is that we treat them differently in the solver. F1 constraints are treated with augmented Lagrangian type updates, whereas F2 constraints are dealt with using penalty updates. Often, we can model a constraint with either F1 or F2. Here's an example. An optimal control problem which is parametric in X0. A common approach is to follow the single shooting formulation, where we eliminate the state sequence and end up with a problem with decision variables the control actions U0 to U and minus 1. To do so, we express the state at each stage t as a function g subscript t of x0 and u. We then plug these functions into the cost function, pack the state input constraints into a mapping f1, and we have written the problem in the standard form mentioned previously. We have great freedom in modeling optimization problems that arise in model predictive control, moving horizon estimation, problems with multiple vertical complementarity constraints, set exclusion problems, integer optimization, and many more. Next, I will present the numerical optimization algorithm that we use to solve such problems. Consider again the case where we have no constraints of the F1 and F2 type. One possible way to solve such problems is to use the projected gradient method, which consists in iteratively applying operator T gamma. Here, the gradient of f can be computed using automatic differentiation. For this method, it is known that accumulation points are stationary points, but convergence can be slow. We can phrase the same problem a little differently. Instead of looking for a fixed point of t gamma, we can define the fixed point residual operator r gamma. Clearly, a fixed point of t gamma is a zero of r gamma. This allows us to employ a Newton type method to solve this nonlinear equation and choose fast quasi Newtonian directions using, for example, LBFGS. Unfortunately, convergence will only be guaranteed in the neighborhood of a critical point. What we need is a globalization method. To that end, we use the forward backward envelope, which is a real valued continuous merit function that shares the same minima with the original optimization problem for gamma less than 1 over L. The forward-backward envelope can be constructed by taking the constraint minimum of a quadratic approximation of the cost function as shown in this figure. The forward-backward envelope can be computed using the same oracle as the projected gradient method. This leads to PANOC the proximal average Newton type method for optimal control. PANOC requires the same oracle as the projected gradient method. It involves only simple algebraic operations. It has low memory requirements and it is very fast. 
In all aspects, it is ideal for embedded applications. PANOC has been shown to perform very well on an autonomous ground vehicle and an autonomous quadcopter in obstructed environments. Let us now focus on problems that involve constraints of the F1 and F2 type. Firstly, we define this augmented Lagrangian function LC of u, v and y, which involves a simple quadratic penalty term for F2 and is defined for all u in u uppercase and for all v in set C. A useful property is that the problem of minimizing the augmented Lagrangian function with respect to u and v can be reduced to the problem of minimizing a function psi with respect to u. The good news is that this function psi is continuously differentiable with respect to u and has a Lipschitz gradient and the problem of minimizing psi with respect to u in set u can be solved with PANOC. We shall denote this problem by p in and we will call this the inner optimization problem. That said, we arrive at this numerical algorithm. The most critical and computationally demanding step is the solution of the inner problem in line 4. At each iteration, we may increase the penalty parameter c by multiplying it by a constant factor rho and note that we solve the inner problem with a diminishing tolerance epsilon bar. Overall, the inner problems are solved very efficiently with PANOC. In practice, we require a few iterations of uh, this outer algorithm. And the algorithm returns an approximate KKT point, which has a bounded feasibility, as we can tell from this termination condition. This algorithm inherits the favorable properties of PANOC has a low memory usage footprint and is suitable for embedded applications. Next, I will present how to use Open to generate an embedded parametric optimizer. Firstly, Open can be used via its design interfaces, which are available in Python and MATLAB. The design interface will generate a solver in Rust. Rust is a modern systems programming language that is becoming popular in embedded applications because it is provably memory safe. The generated Rust solver makes use of uh, the core algorithm implementation, which is also written in Rust. The functionality of the solver is then exported over a TCP socket server, which can be called from Python and MATLAB. Open will also generate C and C++ bindings, as well as a fully featured ROS package for robotics applications. Overall, Open offers interfaces in Python, MATLAB, Rust, C, C++, and the robot operating system. As an example, let us use Open in Python to generate a parametric optimizer for this optimization problem, which we can write in the standard form I mentioned earlier, using this mapping, F2. We start by some necessary imports. We define the decision variable u and the parameter p as symbolic variables, Next, we define the cost function, mapping F2, the bounding ball of radius 0.73, and we formulate the problem like this. Let us now generate a parametric optimizer for this problem. Firstly, we need to provide some configuration, such as the desired path, where the optimizer files will be stored, some optional metadata, such as the name of the optimizer, and some solver parameters are just tolerances. We then pass all these to Open Optimizer Builder and call Build. This will generate and compile a parametric optimizer in Rust that we will be able to call from Python and other frameworks. To use this optimizer in Python, we can use its TCP interface. First, we need to start the TCP socket server then we need to call it and provide the vector p of parameters and we can of course get the solution, the optimal cost and other solver statistics. Lastly, we can close the connection, we can close the server when it is no longer needed. Let us now have a look at some simulations. I will walk you through four examples, an autonomous ground vehicle, a problem of constrained nonlinear estimation of a chaotic system, a four-link robotic arm and the subterranean navigation experiment. We start with the design of a model predictive controller for a ground vehicle 
tugging a trailer in an obstructed environment. The position PX, PY and orientation Psi of the trailer is controlled by an acceleration reference A and the steering angle delta. The problem specification is as follows. First, the vehicle must navigate from an initial position, pose and velocity to a target position and pose, while avoiding a cylindrical obstacle of radius 0.65 positioned at minus 3,0.2. The sampling time is 50 milliseconds. The prediction horizon is 100. We use standard quadratic stage and terminal cost functions. We have a cost L delta that penalizes the successive differences of control actions. And lastly, the system inputs must satisfy certain bounds. There are two ways in which we can describe the obstacle avoidance constraints. Typically, we need to resort to F2 type constraints, but in this case, because the obstacle is ball shaped, we may use the F1 formulation as well. Both approaches lead to similar results in, in practice in this case. We see that the vehicle can successfully maneuver around the obstacle and reach the target position and pose, and it's interesting to observe that it moves in reverse close to the target to park properly. Here we see the time domain response of the system, and note that the input variables remain always within the prescribed bounds and the response is quite nice and smooth. In this figure, we see the time required by Open, IPOPT and SLSQP to solve the MPC problem. Open clearly outperforms IPOPT and SLSQP and is the only solver that has been able to solve the MPC problem within the sampling time. The next problem is a constrained nonlinear estimation problem for a Lorentz type dynamical system. Here, we need to estimate the system states given a collection of corrupted output measurements using the fact that disturbances W and V are bounded. In other words, we need to solve this optimization problem, which we can easily write in the form I mentioned earlier. This is a parametric problem with decision variables the state and noise estimates. In fact, we use F1 to describe these two constraints. By solving this problem, we obtain an estimated state trajectory, which is very close to the actual trajectory. These three figures show the time required to solve the problem with Open and IPOPT respectively. We see that Open outperforms IPOPT by an order of magnitude approximately. Open has been successfully used to control the four-link robotic arm at Queen's University Belfast. And to drive an autonomous quadcopter that was used for underground mine exploration in Sweden. In conclusion, this talk was about Open, a free open source code generation tool for embedded non convex parametric optimization. Open can handle non convex smooth cost function and non convex constraints by combining the augmented Lagrangian and penalty methods as well as PANOC. And with that, I would like to thank you very much for your attention.